I declare that Juan and Robin are now again husband and wife. Nobody say. Where do we begin? Um, Juan and the girl in Canada. I know that this is like eating her up, that everybody is poking holes at her marriage. Now we really know what's going on beneath the surface. So he feels bad for her. He goes to the hotel, puts his card down, and that's it. You just got outed by the Canadian woman, and now five seconds later in the laundromat with the girl that you used to work with. OK, so that should not have happened, but they have gotten past that. I beg your pardon? Nobody's safe. Soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake. Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face. We put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change. Pick up the pace. We put in infinite work. That's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running late. We moving on to the next. You still been stuck in the phase. There's no debate. We draw the line in the sand. We say it straight to your face. They on the rate. So we put the team on our back. We took the city to stay. What it's gonna take? Another S on our chest. Another beat in the He's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, y'all, we have to talk about how people are feeling some type of way about this makeshift intervention that the last lady hosted for Ron's roommate in front of the Bravo cameras. That really shines light about how delusional a person can really be about a man that's meant for everybody. Why you keep feeling the peace now that you open the cage? Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. If you come in, please don't dub your gun. Okay, y'all, it's a really sad day for Robin Dixon. And if you watch the supersized premiere episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac season eight, you already know that we have so much to discuss. Yes, the girls picked up right where they left off, getting into some things about this sham of a marriage that we learned about at the end of RHOP season seven. The, the nail salon was a little too much for me. I was screaming and yelling when I saw it. Yes, the episode starts off so awkward, but it's so cinematic at the same time. And if you did it right, then you paused the episode and heated up your little popcorn and just got a whole bottle of wine sitting on ready <laughs> on a bucket of ice to prepare for more than an hour of foolery. The whole girl with the hotel receipt. Now it's like a lot. Once again, that was stupid. Okay, so Juan's roommate definitely carried the premiere episode, and it was so interesting how they ended the episode with this makeshift wake-up call slash intervention for Robin that was just so hard to watch. And we're going to talk to her. Yes. About our concerns and feelings. Right. As her girlfriends. And we've all been in a similar situation. Right. But I do think there is, like, some delusion. Okay, but this is the same lady that actually helped Juan's roommate cover up Juan's cheating scandals last season, therefore acting in compliance with Robin's behavior and further contributing to her delusions. And now, you want to host a doggone intervention? Girl! But I'll allow it. <laughs> he is not thinking about you saying, you know what? This is bad optics. Y'all, this was so weird to watch. But I was so happy to see that for once, the girls seemed to be having a very authentic conversation. And I didn't get the vibe that anyone was doing the most for the cameras, except for the last lady. But there are no surprises there. OK, whatever. Like, am I supposed to just like yes, sit in the house? Yes, because he made the mistake back <laughs> yes. with, with the hotel. No, I, I feel like Robin heard absolutely nothing. And I feel like she actually learned absolutely nothing either. But I'm, see that, it's just, I don't. Yes. He's not thinking, how is this going to affect Robin? And I feel like she actually walked away feeling like she had convinced them that Juan is completely innocent. And at this point, that's just sad. All right, so what do y'all want just me to like, do? Get mad at him and scream and throw a shoe at him? Oh my God, I can't believe you went to the nail salon with Brianna. He's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. He not dumb enough. Girl, what? You need to go to the bathroom, look at yourself in the mirror and slap your reflection because this is some sad ass shit. Listen, 
Y'all, I am not too good to admit that I have been in a toxic relationship or two, but Robin, you have to stay aware of what's going on and you need to learn to stick up for yourself and tell your friends to mind their business. Like, girl, yeah, I know he trash and everything and we go through a lot of bullshit, but I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> And then there's no conversation to be had behind your back or to your face in the form of an intervention, baby. And then there's no need to run on a podcast talking about other people's marriages because you know you're in a fucked up situation too. This is sick. This is sick. That's the way that works. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I love you. Now, I for one was very surprised that there were not more serious repercussions for Robin trying to self-produce and defraud Bravo and the fans of her real and authentic storyline. But now I'm not even mad because the storyline is actually a lot more juicy with the way that everything actually played out because Robin, you really thought she was gonna sit there and play in our face, collecting our views and cashing in those Bravo checks, playing like everything is perfect? Like you, you above the drama? <laughs> Girl, bye. You finna give us the full storyline and you gonna be in the hot seat the whole season and I'm here for it. How dare you? Let me find out Juan's roommate thought that they were gonna be robbing us. How you think you gonna be robbing us though? <laughs> Robin. And that's why Bravo made sure that this topic was brought up again and again at this year's BravoCon. And I'm surprised that Robin is doubling down on her stance. So first of all, yes, we go, we talk about the issues that are taking place during the season at that time. I have no problem addressing what's going on in my life. Now, when you say, why didn't I address it before? Well, season seven, that was not something that was going on in my life at that time. It was not relevant to my life. So I did not feel the need to walk in front of a camera. Oh, come on, y'all. And y'all, those folks at BravoCon let Juan's roommate have it. And I'm not even gonna lie, I did actually start to feel bad when they started booing her. Come on, Robin, you wanted Robin to explain? You, like to you hear, wanted her you to like answer? To She's answering the question. I'm answering the question. I don't, I don't, when, when my husband and I dealt with an issue five months prior to filming season seven, why would I walk into season seven holding on to an issue that was no longer relevant to our relationship? It was not a problem, it was not an issue. So basically she was like, child, I'm not gonna voluntarily make myself look stupid in front of everybody. My husband is not gonna be thrown under the bus for a storyline that is not actually an issue at that moment. So I'm not going to- But will throw other husbands under the bus for a storyline? And yo, things started to get just a little bit too heated and you can tell that the Potomac girls are still not over the drama that has played out and transpired while they were filming this season. I find that interesting. Everything Ray and I do is under a microscope, you know? And even if it's not under a microscope, they throw it under a microscope. And your math isn't really adding up here. And I feel like the girls that were calling out all the bullshit definitely all had really great points. Period. At the same you time. still will not, well, you still will not admit to all of the things that we have presented to you. You continue to walk in front of cameras and talk about your perfect institution. When we talk about stuff and you act like people are lying and everyone on this stage knows that not one lie has ever been We are scared. My husband is not going to sign hotel. Just a little Check bit. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. And yeah, Karen definitely ate that up and ended it with a really nice, cute, nice, nasty little read. Now on that note, I am happy that Robin and Juan are on a, in a good place. Let's be clear. We're the bull. Okay, well that's good. We'll leave it on that. We'll, we're, we are happy to share it. We're going to leave it on that too. Let me talk about the present. And Candace and Wendy were eating up this BravoCon red carpet, y'all. And fans were really loving seeing the two of them work their black girl magic together. Last season, um, somebody hid something from the camera and she was asked back. 
Now y'all know they were gonna be asked about Juan's roommate and their answer was too good. Are we holding her accountable this season, ladies? I don't see a world where she cannot be held accountable. I think she she really, I almost felt bad for sort of the, the proverbial beating that she got from, from the girls, from the fans. Yeah. Um, but but it's well deserved. Yeah, Candace is a trip. I feel like she is so fed up with them picking on her marriage and she's ready to see Robin finally being the one sitting in the hot seat. You know, you're going behind a paywall to tell your business, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> but it was really Dr. Wendy who had me shook because she definitely pulled up to BravoCon looking the part and ready to get the girls riled up and ready to tune in to the new season of The Real Housewives of Potomac. The whole situation to me is a mess. But I will preface this by saying I root for families, especially since they have children. I want the best for them, so I'm rooting for her marriage. But Robin is delusional. <laughs> this episode and you guys really have to tune in and watch it for yourself i feel like i'm left feeling optimistic about where this season is gonna go i think we have the perfect mix of drama between so many of the girls with mia thornton basically coming clean about being a heartless self-centered glorified sugar baby that is so proud for everybody to know that she only married her estranged husband for the money you say i may have married she for money Duh, right? <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> like, we, we know I now. Mean, <laughs> that's just who I am. The behavior that you exhibited was whore-like. The whore jumped out. And I feel like that actually calls for a whole nother video. So y'all let me know if y'all even care for me to dig into that drama and all the mess involving Mia's divorce in the comments below. Then we got this silly storyline from Giselle and her hired bae. Clock that team. Clock it. Clock that team. Clock it. Clock that team. Clock it. And then there's so much drama coming down the pipeline involving Candace and her marriage, and it's just a lot going on. I spoke to Giselle, and she said that she thinks it's a little believable. So what's your reaction to that? She thinks that's a little believable, but she doesn't think, or she supports her friend in not believing that Juan had with a woman allegedly at a hotel. I just, I'm sorry. And I have no complaints about them dragging out this delusional storyline involving Juan's roommate for the full season. And y'all, I know that it's going to be really tough for Robin and Juan, but I wholeheartedly really wish them the worst. Nope, nope, ain't taking it back, ain't changing it, ain't deleting it, because you're not gonna think you're gonna be sitting here robbing us. Robin, no, it's not the way it works. I'm sitting here ready for a wild ride, and I'm so here for it. There is absolutely no need for a reboot here. I've been waiting to say this. I mean, did I lie? Did I lie? Did I lie? <laughs> Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. The truth will set you free. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really cannot wait to read all of your shady comments and see how y'all really feel about all this. <laughs> so do not let me down. All right, thanks again for watching. I will see all of y'all on the next one. Day in, day out, Tina, me, not slaying